Internet banking is such a staple of modern day life, it's almost impossible to imagine a time before it happened. But to get internet banking in this country, something pretty extraordinary had to happen. A lingerie company had to buy a small town. Listen up and I'll tell you a little bit more about how that actually came to be. So these days we think nothing of jumping on the internet, using our credit or debit card to purchase stuff from online and getting it sent to us anywhere in the world. It's quite common for New Zealand sites now to have international trade. Happens all the time, it's an everyday occurrence. But back in the year 2000, it wasn't. And a very productive, very clever woman from Auckland named Jenny Hanna had an idea. She wanted to start a lingerie company called JenniferAnn.com. Now JenniferAnn.com was something that she wanted to work selling into the United States and she had so much trouble getting New Zealand banks to actually be able to do that. It wasn't set up anywhere for people from the United States to be able to purchase online in New Zealand and spend their credit card money here and have it automatically transfer into New Zealand dollars to go into her account. It's a real struggle, one that we don't know much about these days because we obviously don't have to deal with it. She approached every banking institution in the country. She went through every endeavor she could and eventually ended up having to build her own entire platform that was going to be able to do this for her. But she had a problem. How do you go about advertising a new company when a big wide way that's going to grab people's attention? The answer is you buy a town. She decided she was going to approach the mayor of her old hometown, Pocono. Now, if you've ever traveled the motorway between anywhere into Auckland, then you would have probably stopped there to get an ice cream. It's what the town is known for these days, along with its bacon. It's a booming area with a huge amount of population growth going in there and some major businesses setting up there, including Lewis Road Creamery and a whole new whiskey distillery. It's a really boom area, but at the time in 2000, it was kind of feeling the effects of the motorway having just moved, and it was open to new ideas. So after convincing the town to do the name change for a year, everything was put in place. Now on paper and official records, the name change didn't actually happen. But when it came to putting up signs and it made the place look fun, it was a real boom for everybody involved. JenniferAnn.com ended up getting about 10,000 hits a month from it. And this is in 2000. This is before the internet was anywhere near as big as it is today. At the same time, the town itself started to see a whole bunch of different tourists come through. People who wanted to gawk at the signs, who thought it was a bit of a laugh, who wanted to see something a bit different coming from all over the world to check it out. That resilience has really helped the town now where it's starting to grow and the boom is there. And while JenniferAnn.com no longer exists in that particular form as a lingerie website, the impetus behind it was exactly what was needed to convince local banks that they had to get in and start getting this sorted. Now one of the things that came with this was a financial settlement for the town itself. That was a really difficult thing to do because that large sum of money had to be transferred via bank. And it couldn't be at the time, the systems weren't set up for it. So banks had to actually adapt their systems to be able to make these payments. So all of our internet banking that we have today is completely based around what was designed then, 22 years ago, in an effort to try and boost the sales of lingerie in America. And it worked. We have a structure now that seems to work for most people and most people can work with that allows us international trade on a personal level. That also means that the town itself got a whole bunch of much needed cash injections from people and tourists and the company that was behind the whole idea and the person who came up with the idea saw a really successful venture go ahead. And that is how a lingerie company buying a small town led to internet banking being able to do what it does today for us. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. I'll be putting out a few more of these as we go along. The one on Waitangi Day is going to absolutely blow your mind about how an entire country is founded by a man in his pajamas. So yeah, like, share and subscribe to this video so you can get more content like this as well as other crazy stuff that I do along the way.